Hello and welcome to this video presentation of the Dutch Ships and Sailors project. My name is Victor de Boer and in this project I work together with a number of Dutch maritime historians to link together a number of separate uh, maritime historical data sets from the Netherlands. In this project we look at how linked open data can be used to link together different data sets and expose them in new ways to maritime historians. So in the project we uh, worked with a number of existing data sets and a number of new data sets that were digitized in the, with the help of historians. And for each of these uh, data sets we built specific linked open data models. What we also did is we linked these together, so ship names, place names, etc. Uh, we also linked to uh, the open newspaper archives made uh, available by the Royal Library of the Netherlands. And what we did is to include provenance information about where this information comes from. For a number of data sets, we link back to the original scans of the, the archive, archival records as they are found in the archives themselves. All this data is brought together in the Dutch Ships and Sailors Link Data Cloud. This is a Cleopatra triple store which allows you to do some innovative exploration and in, uh, visualization of the data. The data can be accessed through a number of APIs, including the Sparkle API, which allows you to uh, import the data and use it for further visualizations. So one example is this visualization of uh, locations of the northern, mus northern musterings from the 19th century, so where did people come from. I will now show a short demo in which I browse through the collection. In this case, we're looking at the Cleopatria uh, uh, front-end of the triple store, and we can start by entering a search term, for example, Hoffman. The Dutch last name. We can then use the Fessa browser on the right to uh, restrict our search to, for example, people based near Groningen in the Netherlands. If we select Jan Lambertus Hofman, one of the results, we see the view on the resource that matches this query. Now, on the bottom, we actually can see how you can browse through the graph of linked resources. So, uh, this person, Jan Lambertus Hofman, is linked to a contract in which he is listed as a cook on a ship. And this person contract is uh, related to a uh, muster roll. So if we go to the muster roll, we see actually visualized a number of interesting things. So this muster roll from 1892 from the ship to Winneweer has a number of person contracts. So for sailors, cooks, deck boys, carpenters, captains, etc. It's also linked to the scan of the original muster roll. So if we look at it, we can actually see that here the ship the Winneweer has this listing and our hero Hofman. Going back, we can also see that the, uh, the muster roll is related to KB articles. In this case, uh, for example, this one uh, is a newspaper from uh, the 19th century, 1893. Um, it opens an iframe to the uh, Royal Library interface. If we browse down a bit, we can actually see that this ship was uh, had to throw out its anchors because of a storm. Here we see again the captain that was mentioned before, the name of the ship and uh, the harbors of departure. Um, there are other ways of accessing the data, for example, through Sparkle queries, of which we have uh, listed a couple. So uh, one is uh, this Sparkle query that looks at uh, subtypes of uh, coastal sailors. You can copy the Sparkle query and edit it to suit your liking, and then look at the results uh, in the Cleopatra interface. And by clicking on them, we again can uh, start use this as a starting point for browsing the graph of linked data. So in this case, we look at, for example, the ship that was associated with this mustering, and we see that a number of uh, other ships with the same name occur that are probably the same ship and therefore same as relations are uh, identified. We also have the ship type, and the ship type we can then browse a bit further to see that it's actually uh, a narrower ship type of these coastal sailors. So there are a number of ways of accessing this data again, in, including a more uh, complete prolog, com prolog shell in which you can do very uh, complex analysis, such as uh, identifying the, the careers of uh, persons. So this is the career of a uh, Remold Gosselaar. And then we can see if we run this uh, prolog query, uh, we can actually analyze the, the whole career of this person. That he went from 1859 as a simple sailor, a lichtmatroos, to um, uh, a captain later on in his life. We can also list all the different ships that he embarked on, including the treintje where he ended his career. Thank you very much.